back and if you are new, hi, my name is Katie. I post new videos here on my channel every Tuesday and Friday, so don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you head on out of this channel so that all of my new videos pop right on up in your subscription feed. So I am, <laughs> wow, that was like the happiest I've been on an intro ever, I think. I'm just really excited because you guys, I have my next Circo 1955 box to unbox. So if you missed my last one, I will link to it so that you can go and check it out. Um, I have the honor of being a rep for this company, which I am so, so excited about. It is a box that I had been wanting to check out in the past and I just hadn't really been able to. And so now I'm so, so excited to help promote this box across YouTube and everything um, because it is just such a fantastic box, such a fantastic company. The curator and creator, really, of this box, Nicole is just awesome. She pays every little attention to detail that you possibly can. And uh, by the way, this is a box full of Disney inspired candles. So what's really cool about this box too is that you get two different candles. So one is going to be inspired by some sort of treat that you find in the park. And another one is going to be inspired by, um, I think it's called like the adventurer candle. So it's going to be inspired by a ride or just a place in the park that Nicole is really trying to bring you to through scent. And it's perfect for people like me who only really get to go down to the parks once a year. You really want to keep that Disney magic with you all the time and so this is such a great great way uh, to bring that Disney magic because you're not only getting candles but you get a bunch of extra goodies inside each box that are going to really surround you with the theme that she's going with for that particular month. Um, and this month, I am excited because it is Alice in Wonderland inspired. Now I will say, I'm not the biggest fan of Alice in Wonderland, the movie, really any of them. Um, for me, Alice in Wonderland is just a touch too trippy for my tastes. However, I love, love, love Alice in Wonderland merchandise. Anything that is Alice in Wonderland inspired, I am so, so pulled towards. I just think that everything that is Alice in Wonderland inspired is just beautiful. And I feel like there's such a big, like, tea presence within Alice in Wonderland stuff, obviously because of the mad tea party and everything, that I'm a huge tea drinker. I love tea, so I love Alice in Wonderland stuff that is related to tea. So I'm kind of hoping that there is some sort of tea-inspired candle in here. So if you are interested in subscribing to this box, you can use the promo code Mooney15, so that's M-O-O-N-Y and the number 15. Um, that'll get you 15% off your order. And just as a heads up, her two favorite holidays and the ones that she puts the most, um, the biggest like boxes together for are Halloween and Christmas. So if you are looking for some awesome Christmas inspired scents, I would definitely sub subscribe, sign up for that Christmas box because it will not disappoint. So all of that being said, <laughs> so many words, let's get into this box. But before we do, I want to show you the artwork on this box because it is gorgeous and every box that you get is just going to be stunning from start to finish. Like the amount of effort that goes into these boxes are evident the moment that it shows up on your doorstep to the moment that you finish unboxing it. It really is amazing. Okay, so here is the top. We can see the Cheshire Cat, of course. And then as we move around the sides, we have all sorts of Alice in Wonderland inspired stuff happening. Um, so here it says hashtag magic mail. And then on the side, we have the bread and butterflies, I believe they are, and something else going on down there. Oh, just the mushrooms. Okay. Is it the bread and butterflies? I'm terrible with this movie because I don't watch it because it freaks me out. <laughs> Even as a 32-year-old woman, this movie freaks me out. But regardless, gorgeous, gorgeous artwork. And then on the back, we have a little bit of the same that's going on in the front. It says uh, hashtag circumagic, so you can hashtag all of your unboxings with that. And then on this side, we have all of the Painting the Roses red cards that are hard at work making the Queen of Hearts happy. Okay, guys. <sighs> I'm excited. We're getting into this. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay. Opening it on up. Oh my gosh. I love it. So right away, right off the bat, this is what you're going to see. <laughs> There's a sticker in there that says off with your head with the Queen of Hearts on there and this really funky tissue paper that is kind of like 
kind of reminiscent of Wonderland a little bit. It got a lot of swirls going on and stuff, which I love. I'm taking out the note here first. On the front, it is a picture of the white rabbit, and it says, you're late over the moony. <sighs> I know, I know, story of my life. I relate to the white rabbit <laughs> so hard, because try as I might, I am forever late to literally everything. <laughs> And then on the back, we have all of these glittery red hearts to hold the seal together. And then up on top of one of the hearts, we have this gorgeous little crown confetti that looks like the queen's crown. So we have the queen of hearts. Love it. So I am going to go in here and I will caution you in case you are getting this box that um, the top half of the card has a note to you about the box. The bottom half of the card has information about the candles that are inside. So if you don't want to be spoiled before you see the candles, don't read the bottom of the card. Fair warning. <laughs> so the card looks like this. We have circa 1955 on here. There is all sorts of fall foliage in the back, which is perfect for this time of year. Okay, so I'm carefully going to go into the card. It says, the time has come for us all to gather around a table with some as mad as a hatter. We give our thanks and remain ever grateful. Don't fret, there's no pranks, only appreciation by the plateful. I thought about the Thanksgiving holiday, and maybe it's just our family, but I kind of feel like it's a fall version of the Mad Tea Party. That was my inspiration this month. Get ready to deck the halls. Our annual Christmas box arrives next month. We are so very thankful for your support of Circa 1955. Serving this community with these scents and subscription boxes is a true blessing. We're wishing you and yours a very happy Thanksgiving. And then it says, Blessings, Nicole. She always hand signs every single card, which is awesome. Okay, so now we are going to get in here. Oh, how cute. Okay, so the first thing that I'm seeing on top here is a little menu. So it says Thanksgiving menu with the same art design on the one side with the butterfly and the mushrooms. And you can write out what your main course is and the sides, and I love this. Oh yay! I love when she includes recipe cards. Oh, these sound good. So we have a recipe card for Glan Grand Floridian Cranberry Scones, oh, which sounds so good. Um, and then Chris's Sweet Potato Souffle. Oh, I love sweet potato souffles. Topping ingredients, chopped pecans, brown sugar, Yes, please. Mm -hmm. We have a staple sweet potato casserole every single Thanksgiving, which is honestly more of a dessert than it is like a side, but mm -hmm. so good. And then, ooh, Nicole's Marshmallow Cream Cheese Dip. One ounce package cream cheese, marshmallow fluff, brown sugar, and pumpkin pie or apple pie spice. Looks like we have two things left here. <gasps> Yay! I was hoping so hard that there was going to be tea in here. <gasps> oh, I love this. Okay, so we got a bag, which I love, of the Wonderland tea. It's the official unbirthday, um, the official unbirthday tea, but it is the Mad Tea Party blend. So, gosh, stories for days. So. Uh, was it this summer? No, it must have been last summer. When they first launched the Shop Disney Parks app, I was on there and I saw that they had this huge set of all of the, the uh, Wonderland teas. So I bought it every couple days during the week. Me, Noelle, and Samantha, my friends at work, we would have tea. For a while we were working our way through all of the different Alice in Wonderland teas. But actually the Mad Tea Party blend was my favorite. I think that this one and the blueberry one were my favorites. So I am really excited. Oh, we get three. Three, three, four, three. We get a bunch of them. But um, this is what the art looks like. And what are you? Oh, how fun. So these are they're called White Lion Honey Pearls. Indulge in the pure, good, natural goodness of honey. All natural crystallized honey. So you just can pour this into your tea. Now we get into the candles. So they always, oh, they always come in a box like this. So it comes wrapped with a ribbon. And then we have this super, super cute um, sticker on top here of one of the playing cards. So exciting. Oh, yes. 
Yes, yes, yes. So, the first one that I'm pulling out is Grand Cranberry Scone. So you can light this candle while you're eating those scones that she has the recipe for and it'll just be like the most extra scone experience that you've ever had in your life. I'm really excited. I feel like I can already smell this without even taking the lid off. Uh, <laughs> there has never been a time in my life where I wish that I could just hold this up to you and you can smell it. Oh my god, that smells so good. Oh my gosh. BRB. I'm just gonna sit here and smell this for like the next five minutes. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. There's definitely like a hint of baked sweetness in there. Like a cookie or obviously a scone. But like, you know, there's like that you walk into a bakery type smell where it's just like BAM baked goods in your face but then there's like the sweet tartness of cranberries <sighs> it smells so good um so let's see it says sweet treat if you're able to catch the tea party at the grand floridian in the fall or winter season then you know all too well how addicting these treats are i have not but i will make them and then i will be addicted to them I love it. I love this. Okay, so then the next one, which I saw as I was pulling out the other one, this is a Mad Tea Party scent. Ooh. <sighs> Does it work? Can you smell it? Just, just try, just, just inhale real big, and maybe, maybe it'll work. I don't know what I think it smells like, <laughs> but it smells really good, very fresh, very light. So it says the oh the explorer, explorer candle. I was so close with adventure, explorer candle. Um, it says everyone is spinning and laughing, laughing and spinning. We're all a little mad, right? Yes, we are. I love this. Like it smells, there's like a touch of tea to this. There's a touch of sweetness to it. But it's not like a full on sweet, like it doesn't smell like, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know what it smells like, but it smells delicious, which is a plus, of course. I have been so, so happy with all of the candles that I've received from this company and they're really nice size too. Okay, so if you are interested in picking up any of these candles, you can check on her website, which of course, again, I will leave linked down below. She does sell all of these candles individually, so if you were not able to get your hands on the subscription box for this month, then you will be able to pick up either of the candles from this box on her website as long as supplies are still there. Um, not only does she have just these kinds of candles, the inspired candles by the rides and everything that comes from the boxes and everything, she also has a really awesome line of princess inspired candles which are layered candles and she does them in the colors that the princesses are known for. They're super super pretty. They do come in glass jars just so that you can see the entire candle and all of the different colors inside and they are just gorgeous. And then she also it looks like has a Soren line. Pack your bags, we're going on two flights. One is over California and the other is around the world. Enjoy these scents based on the Soren attraction. So she has Soren over, Cal over California, Soren over Orange Groves, Soarin' over the Fiji Islands, Soarin' over the Taj Mahal, Soarin' over Malibu, over Yosemite, around the world, Soarin' over Mount Kilimanjaro. So if you are a big fan of the scents of Soarin', this is your place. And just as a heads up as well, um, she does have two different boxes up right now. So you can get the Christmas box, which is separate from just the monthly subscription box. So if you are interested in that Christmas box, you're gonna have to subscribe to that or I guess it's just like a one-time purchase that you can just get on your own. So don't forget that you can use Mooney 15, 15% off that box. It is $36, so let's do some math, kids. We'll get you $5.40 off, so you will get that box for $30.60. I think after I'm done filming this video, I am gonna head over to 
this website. Buy this box. These make awesome gifts, and I think that that's everything that I have. Don't forget to head on over to my uh, monthly giveaway video because I have a monthly giveaway going on. It is a fantastic beast mystery box giveaway in honor of the new movie that's coming out this month. So you can head on over to my description box, hit that link, head over to that video and see what it is that you need to do in order to win. And yeah, that's everything that I have. For real, for real. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I appreciate it as always and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!